a storm coming, I think. I thought I'll hurry up back home. How are you doing? It's Smithy with his con ticky. We might have to wait while some cars go past, but Smithy got a new bike, uh, electric. How are you? It's Smithy with his con ticky again. Absolutely burning today. I've been at work this morning. Let the cars go. I've been at work this morning. Off now till Tuesday. And it's, uh, what is it now? Saturday. Heaven. Anyway, Smithy got a new electric bike. The front wheel was a nightmare to get on because you've got to line it up with the uh, the brake caliper thing because of disc brakes. So that was hard work. But anyway, we sorted it out. There's two screws that you actually undo on the caliper to, to straight. I was trying to straighten the wheel, but you can actually move the caliper a bit with these two screws. So that's what I've done until the wheel runs freely. Yesterday, £800 at Argos, reduced to 640 I thought, right, go on, I'll have one. I bought that, the cycle hat, and the, it's a titanium lock. So you can lock your wheel and, as well as the bike. And you're not supposed to be able to cut through it with them things. Hopefully. I'm hoping. You never know. <laughs> yeah, God. I think Argos need to just have some kids employed, sorting stuff out, you know, building bikes, rather than me have to put the front wheel on and the handlebars and all that. They, they should have it done. You buy a new TV, you should be already be tuned and with right time on. You need some kids there doing that stuff. <laughs> People like me that can't be bothered or don't know how to do it. Oh, God. Anyway, I'll show you the view. Have a look at this. And that really is my sunset. That's why I'm burning. I've been out in sun all day at work today as well and getting paid for it. How good's that? I am enjoying work, it's good. But hey, th this bike is the actual um what do you call it? The, the battery is in the frame. So it does about 20, I think it does 25 mile on pedal assist. So you've got to pedal if you're not pedaling, it doesn't do anything. And no gears either. So that's a good thing. But uh, I bought some lights for it as well from uh, Asda. I think they're 10 quid or something. But the USB recharge, they're only little. I can't imagine the battery lasting long on them. But so I'm going to get some proper lights for it. But uh, they'll do for now. <laughs> A lot of people walking past watching me. What's he doing with camera? Uh, so I haven't even put the tripod level. Hang on. falling over. Oh, I thought my mate Harry was here before so I cycled to the end van and it wasn't Harry. So no Harry. But anyway I'm going to cycle to Stone Jetty. I've got a helmet right and what I've done I've put a GoPro on it just in case anybody wants to pull out on me and be silly and all that. But the good thing is I can capture footage with it. So To show you where I've been cycling, you, you'll see that. But the tide's just been in, so there's actually mud all over the road. <laughs> I should have waited a bit till it dried out. It did say thunderstorms today, but as you can see, no thunderstorm, full of mud now. Uh, e plus electric bike from Argos. Oh, absolutely red out I am. Although it's not through exercise because I didn't do now. I, you just sort of make the motion and it just drives off for you. <laughs> uh, I'll show you anyway because I'll put a camera out and I'll drive past it. But you don't, you don't actually pedal. You just pretend you're pedalling. It's like having a bike on a rack with no wheel on and you just, you just got your pedals and you just turn them. and There's no resistance whatsoever. You're just away. So, yeah, I like it. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> just playing about on YouTube. Uh, no, no, I can edit. I can edit. Oh, yeah. I make van life videos, really. But I just bought an electric bike, so I just thought the, somebody said show us it, so I thought I'd show them it. So I'm going to go to end at Jetty in a bit. You can't get better weather than this, can you? A lot of wagons go down this road because they're under the naive assumption. That and I've told them that Blackpool's over there, which it is. But there's a big river between you and there. So 
So I've actually just been down there and shown you a review of a, this electric bike and in true YouTube fashion I did put the sound on I would have been using it on number 2 coming up but I did put it on 5 so I'll try and see if you can spot the difference between 2 and 5 5 you're just going through the motions of pedalling it actually does it for you um, as you can see it's now filthy the road's not quite dry yet but there is a thunderstorm coming I did say Lancashire's like going to get a thunderstorm but I thought I'll nip out before it comes I'm actually full of mud I don't know what my back looks like, as you can see. Anyway, so yeah, um, what I was trying to tell you over there, um, I was trying to tell you that you can see uh, Brazen Dock, you know, and it's, um, you know, all the yachts at Brazen Dock, all the yacht masks, so you can, for a point of reference, Blackpool is sort of there. Brazen Dock, Pillin, you know. If you're on Morecambe Promenade in a camper van and you drive straight down towards Heesham and don't turn off the road and keep going straight, this is where you end up. But you can only get there when the tide's out. So I was telling you, um, obviously the power assist levels 0 to 5, 0 being no power whatsoever. 2 and 3, minimal effort, 5, no effort whatsoever, it'll just set off. If you're setting off on a hill, I would think that it'd be hard work if you're going uphill to set off. Aim downhill and turn around and come back up like when you set off because it doesn't kick in until you've actually set off. So the pedal assist will kick in but not until you've gone. Or, you know, a couple of feet and then it kicks in. And then away you go, especially on number five, you're gone. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot I can say about it really. I just, I'm enjoying it. I bought some lights from uh, Asda. I don't know if you can see them. I think they were a tenner, USB rechargeable. How do you turn them off? Oh, right, there. How do you turn them off? Yes, yeah, so I bought a kryptonite lock for it, so I'm hoping it doesn't get stolen. So, that's yet to be seen. But we're going to use it on the camper. So, when we go anywhere, my camper has a bike rack, put it on the back. When we go away, um, one of us can nip to town get supplies and whatever else, wherever we happen to be. I'm going to use it for work, so it's going to save me fuel, in 20 quid a week in fuel or whatever. So it's going to pay for itself. Less than six months, paid for itself. So, I better hurry up because the storm's coming. Yeah, I like it, E plus. So, I'm going to go home now. Well, you didn't think I'd turn into a total fitness fanatic, did you? <laughs> so yeah, so that Smithy's got an electric bike now. So it's going on the on the bike rack. Uh, the lock I've got, like I say, it's a titanium lock and uh, a thing to lock your wheels up with as well. So you can't cut through it. One of them, uh, one of them things. Can't see what it says. Anyway, so yeah, that's my new electric bike. So. I'm not the best at reviewing, I just thought I'd just show you, do, do a bit of a re review. I'm not selling these bikes, I haven't got any more, and there's no links to any. So, uh, you know, but yeah, I highly recommend a pedal assist bicycle. Hey, it's opened a new world to me, I can go out wherever I want now. So I can go 10 mile out and 10 mile back, and uh, no problem whatsoever. If we're in the van, I've got the converter, so I can convert uh, 12 volts to 240, so I can still charge it in the van. Um, so I've got the best of both worlds. It's outside the van at the minute because uh, me and Sue are going for something to eat. So I'll put it in the van, go for something to eat. I'll come back and I'll cycle. I'll have another play about with it and uh, see where I end up. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this little video. It's, it's not a complete, I'm not trying to sell the bike to anybody. I'm just showing you what I've got. So, I, you know, um, it's just one of them things I've bought of a, 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 and I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm going to go to work on it, save fuel. And uh, when I'm out in the van, it's to go shopping with. And uh, I think I bought the helmet from Argos and I bought the bike lock. But when you bought the bike, it said like 25% off 
all the stuff that you can buy. So that's what I did. I bought the helmet and the, the lock as well. I've got the bike outside, so people are looking at the bike and looking in the van. Uh, God. Uh, but it's quite safe out there. I haven't locked it. The key's on my car key and my car key's at home, so I, I can't lock it. So anyway. Uh, oh, I've got Wi-Fi in the van, by the way. I've got one of them little three, what do you call it? Uh, I bought some extensions because I couldn't get... I'll, I'll show you a thing about that, but we're going to get Netflix on this TV. And it's not a smart TV, but I am going to put Netflix on it. Anyway. So, I hope you've enjoyed me waffling on a bit and uh, showing you my new bike. And uh, I, I'm going to enjoy it. I love it. I had a go on my mates the other day and I thought I want one. And anyway, I, I went and got one. So, there you go. Smithy's got an electric bike now. Anyway, but yeah, don't forget the battery is integrated into the frame. So you could actually take the stickers off. Nobody would notice an electric bike apart from having... It looks like a speedometer, I suppose, on top. But anyway, there you go. That's what I've been up to. So I hope you enjoyed this bit of a video. And uh, <coughs> I'll be back soon. So take care, stay safe, and Smithy and his Kentucky will see you again. See you soon.